Hi everyone, hope you're fine. Welcome to Digestuff videos and Digestuff YouTube channel. Um, today we are looking at the SpinStream application. What is SpinStream? So if you want to record your mix or if you want to um, live stream directly on OBS, for example, record in Audacity, you will have sometimes um, some issues. What of the issues? The rec output of your mixer will not go directly on your record session for Audacity or for um, OBS. And it's not cool. And you have, uh, for a lot of time, um, you, you have to um, buy a sound card or something like that. But you have spin stream. It's a little app allow you to root simply like that to route your audio directly from your mixer or your controller directly on um, your record part or your uh, live part. I saw this video from Mojax uh, from DJ City, um, I think three or four uh, days ago, and I told me in my mind, I absolutely, absolutely have to, uh, to do this video. So this app, uh, SpinStream, works with um, the application black hole when you install the first one you have to install the second one it's very easy it's just an installation and there is plenty of mixers and controllers um, compatible with this um, for example you have this table here and uh, for mine the rain mp uh, 2014 um, i didn't know if it works or not and I simply connect it and it goes directly on it. It's very, very simple. So you have example, example uh, for the compatibility, but think that the compatibility will be with every mixers and controllers with a DVS part or a, a turntable or CD input, for example, line, in, line input. Only exceptions, two or three exceptions um, are not working with this, but all mixers and controllers with DVS parts. So a lot of you can have um, the Rain 72 like uh, you just watch. You can have the S1, the DGN S1, a lot uh, S9, S9, <laughs> S1 is another turn, another mixer, uh, S9. So um, pretty a lot of mixers and controllers with this. The company is working on a uh, Windows app. Windows app. It's only Mac for uh, for the moment. So Windows app, and they are working every day. Uh, you s you saw in the um, in the table that we there there was um, Rain MP twenty fourteen. It's mine. Um, there is no place for that mixer, and I sent them an email. Uh, telling that um, it's it's working with this mixer, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. So you can ask them if it works or not, and you will see. But the table it's it's large. There is a plenty of mixer and controllers. So let's go directly on the subject. When you install uh, first SpinStream and Black Hole, you have just to run them. Just to run SpinStream. And you will see this kind of little um, little window. When you have an, um, a no known uh, controller or um, mixer, you can choose your own presets. You see, it's the rain, and uh, it's an unknown mixer for the moment. But you can choose your mix or rec output. Just after you um, put your mouse on black hole, you check that and you start play like that. And after you play music. When you engage OBS, you will see, I will choose first the uh, MP2040 uh, part, this one. And I play record because you will listen to this audio and not the audio from my recorder. So everything you will uh, listen will be directly on uh, OBS. So it's my MP2014 on the direct. You see, 
nothing works. Nothing is working. Um, it's normal because OBS understands just the one and two channel, the stereo channel, one, two, from your mixer or controller. So it, can, it, it can't work because my uh, mix or rack out, if you want, on your, the USB is, uh, I think it's seven, eight. You see, you have channel one, one, two, channel two, three, four, uh, channel three, for example, uh, five, six, and I have my mix on seven, eight. So it can't work. But I check my little guy spin stream. And this application, I can choose, you see in OBS, black hole for the uh, unit. And of course, it works. If I go to my previous scene, uh, scene, it will not work. But when I choose here, it works. So it's pretty cool. It's the um, OBS part. But for example, I want to uh, make this on maybe Audacity because I don't want video. I just want to wreck my audio. I choose the rain and manage my record. But there is nothing. No problem. I stop my recording. I choose black hole. I put my record and you see everything works fine. It's pretty cool. It's pretty simple. I don't have to be a technician and, and a computer technician. It works like that. So we just saw with my mixer, but another example is cool. So with the DDG 1000, so thanks to Dr. Saul to give me these, uh, his unit for this video. Um, very short time. I asked him yesterday and I have it for, uh, for the video. For, thank you, Dr. Saul. Um, so the DDG 1000, a lot of people, I saw a lot of people complaining uh, about their configuration directly on OBS that their mic, when they are uh, saying something, um, the mic is not uh, directly on OBS. It's not a problem. Look, I launch SpinStream and what is very cool, look at, they already put directly the configuration. It's the channel 11, channel 12. So everything is already done. I have just to play this and after put a track, for example, I launch OBS. You see, I am in my uh, scene three and it's only DG 1000. There is nothing. I put record and you will see the sound you will hear will be the OBS recording. So I take my scene four with black hole. It's okay. And there is some music here. And let's put Michael on. It's working like you see. So it's working for live stream and maybe some little talk over directly on the music. Everything works fine. It's very, very cool. It's pretty cool. So it was Pinstream, the magic uh, app, allow you to root audio directly uh, in your computer with the help of uh, Black Hole. Uh, if you have any questions, feel free to ask under the video. Thank you for watching this one and see you next content. Take care, everybody. Bye bye.